Hello everybody, this is Artisan Loom here with another uh, tutorial of one of my very uh, first designs um, or early on designs. This one is called the Tortoise Shell Dewdrop. You can thank my goofy husband for naming that bracelet. Um, he I didn't know how to didn't know much about naming bracelets and I asked him what he thought it looked like and he just wanted to come up with something fancy so he called it the tortoise shell dewdrop and and goofy me decides to use it and then I got all I cut all kinds of hell from my sister-in-law because she thought that was a goofy name. Well, anyhow, it's stuck. That's what it is. It's too late. It's my earlier design. Um, but it's the tortoise shell dewdrop. And I made it 36 weeks ago, I believe. Let's see, 36 weeks ago. If you don't believe me, there we go. Tortoise shell dewdrop. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going, since I did not make this in a full wrap, I'm, I'm going to make this in a full wrap because I just love it so much. For whatever reason, I just think it's super cool. I'm going to use it for the same colors in here, except for with the opaque black, I'm going to use um, cylindric black. And for the white, I'm going to use um, the white frost, I believe. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do the white frost, um, which is an LE band. And the rest, and then, then I've got the Persian black and the red jelly. Because you're going to need a red, the, um, for the red bands, I believe you will need, um, well, nope, I guess you don't really need stretchy bands for the red one. I thought you did. I have multiple pictures in here that on my computer that I took when I, because I started taking pictures early on, and I, I have, <laughs> There's some pictures in here where I started to do one thing and then whoop, went the other direction. So I thought you needed stretchy bands, but apparently according to what I've got on my camera now, or on my computer now, the pictures don't show that. So, because at first it was showing it stretching way across like that, but we're only doing like this. Anyhow, so I'm gonna use those colors, but today it's a three pin bar design pretty simple and what we're going to do is we are going to um, lay some bands but we're going to double up on some bands okay let me see how I've got this going yeah okay so hmm I don't know whether to use these or opaque at the bottom I'm going to use the cylindric so basically what we're going to do is we're going to double up bands and I'm going to put my black first black and then my um, Ellie Frost will go on top. And I'm just going to do it to the right. And then my Ellie Frost. So we're just doubling the bands. This may come out like super. This is already a thick enough bracelet. So I don't know how the Ellie is going gonna, is gonna to work. Maybe I shouldn't use Ellie. I'm gonna give it a shot. Can't hurt anything, right? If not, I've got that one and I can redo it. Okay, but you're gonna double bands. The bottom is gonna be black, the top is gonna to be white, so make sure you put them in that order. So I'm gonna put them together and then I'm going to um, go straight up the loom and make sure they're in the right order. Black on the bottom, white, or whatever color you're deciding to do. You know what would be cool? Using like a zebra or a, a dual layer, that might be kind of neat with the black and white, but at the time I didn't have it and I'm just gonna go ahead with this. I don't even think I have any zebra bands. But if you have it, that may work too. But you're just basically gonna go up. I know I'm gonna go real slow. I haven't done double bands in a long time. Just make sure they don't get one on top of the other. The white goes on top of the black. If you feel more comfortable, you could just do like that and then do the white. That's usually what I do. I just feel better about it. That way I know that the bands aren't going to be... They're going to land right where I want them. Okay. 
So you're going to do that all the way up the loom till you get to the second peg here from the top and then you're going to stop here and then go in. Stop here and go in. Okay? So go ahead and finish that. I know I had some bands here down the center. I'm going to take those off here. That was when I first started and realized that I screwed it up and I didn't take them all the way off. But anyway, disregard these. We're going to go for this. Okay? Black on the bottom, white, double the bands, go all the way up. Once you double those up and go to the end, you're going to do a single chain down the center, which I'm going to do in the um, cylindric black. So you're just going to follow that all the way up the loom. Okay, so finish that part. So, once you get that part done with the single chain, um, we've got to do lay our red jelly bands, okay? And it's going to be a little... I'm going to bead some bands, take, a, take one jelly band, put a spacer bead on, and what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put two spacer beads. I thought it was, I'll tell you in just a minute what I thought it was going to be. But I'm going to put two spacer beads on, okay? So there'll be two on one band, just like that, okay? I'm going to keep them separated because what we're going to do is we're going to take it. And on the first, let's see, is it the first one? Yes, the first one. Okay, I'm going to take this. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, from, so right here to right there. This band's going to stretch over all of it. So this first part, I'm going to put on, okay? And I'm going to keep the bead. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the first band on, and then I'll go ahead and put it on this side, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll use my hook to bring it over the center. So it's going to look like that, okay? That's what it's going to look like. All right? So, for some reason, I thought you put one here and then another band over here, but it's just all one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and beat up some more bands, but we're going to do that um, every other one. So let me show you. What we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and thread this other one. Because I had them all threaded already with just one on. Now I've got to add the other. Okay. And then we're going to go up, we're going to skip one, and we're going to go to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that band, lay that, and then I'm going to get. Well, come on, I'm going to do like that and bring it over, okay? So we're going to do every other one all the way down the loom, and then I'll show you where the um, the Persian black comes into play because it's, it's different. So just go ahead and do that all the way up to the end of the loom, skip every other one, okay? And then we'll meet back and do the Persian. I know I didn't finish it going up and up the, the loom, but I found an easier way than to use the hook. And you probably did too. And use your finger, put it over the one pin, and then you're gonna hold this bead and um, and then grab the lip of that pin while stretching out. Okay, and then hold the other bead into place. And there you go. Pretty simple, so go ahead and finish. Sorry about that, now that I have that part done. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is because, and this is what it'll look like, but because this one stops here instead of right here where the V meets, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these bands off. I think I went and looked at um, how it was looped up and whatnot. And what we're going to do is just take those off and move these to the center. Move these to the center. Okay. And then that band I left on there, I'll just... I'll grab the black band that I took off and stick it back. Okay, so that it'll look like that. 
Okay, I'm thinking that's the way. I guess I should have looked. But it's okay because we just, it's not going to hurt anything. We haven't gotten really into it yet, which there's not a whole lot to this bracelet, even though it looks real pretty, or at least in my opinion. Okay, now what we have to do is we're going to have to do the um, glitter, or not glitter, oh geez, let me get my bands, Persian black. We're going to take a Persian black, and we are going to, gosh, I, I do better with a regular hook, so let me go get a regular hook. Well, I'll just show you on this because you probably don't have a regular hook. Okay, you're going to grab this and you're going to do a triple. Um, you're going to wrap it around three times. One, two, three. Okay? Just like that. Then you're going to take another Persian band and you're going to put it on and you're going to slide it, slide it or lift it up over the band. Okay, it's going to be just like, well, I can get it to lay properly. See, I don't like twisted bands. It's going to drive me nuts. But you're going to do it like that. And then you're going to, um, well, it's showing you're going to do the same thing. So, okay, so we did that one. Do the same thing as we did the red one. Okay, so we've got one of them on there. And we're going to take another one and wrap it three times. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to, oops. Let me start over. Let me start over. I've got three on here. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and get another one, two, three wrapped on there. So now I have two. See? See that on, both, on the hook? Then I'm going to take a band, and then I'm going to slide it, which I, I do much better on a hook that's not so deep. Okay, so you're going to go like this, and then you're going to slide the other one right next to it, just like well, it's not one to slide, so, okay, just like that, okay? So then you're going to take, do just like the red one, and you're going to put it right there. And then you're going to wrap it around that one. Just like that, okay? So that's what it's going to look like. You're going to triple, wrap it three times, put it on a band, wrap it, and put it on the other side of the band, and then place it on. Okay, so every other one, this one, that one, all, all the ones in between the red, that's what you're going to do, just like I just showed you. And um, you finish that all the way to the end of the loom, please. I felt a little rushed just a second ago. I only got to show you once. I got my other hook. I feel more comfortable with it. And plus, my son was coming in here, so I wanted to, you know rush to get through it which is the wrong thing to be so I'm going to show you again put it on your hook grab it one two three okay and then you slide it down and you hold on to the end of this one and do it again you're going to do one two three okay so there are two separate ones on my hook then you're going to take a band and you're going to slide it on to the band. I have an easier time sliding it, although. And then this one you'll slide. Slide it over. You keep them separate, okay, like that. And now I'm going to go on this one. Do just like I did the red. Hold this. Grab the lip of that next peg put it on and then put this side on so that's what you should have right there okay all right now you can go ahead and finish doing it all down the loom sorry about that okay. at that point 
Let you get that done all the way up the loom. Okay, we are gonna get, I'm going to go back and use my Persian black and let me see what, what the reason for using this is. I have no earthly idea. Maybe because it's reversible. Okay, so you're gonna go from this left pin where the red is at, go to the center. I'm gonna push my bands down. So go from there to there, and then there to there. Okay. And then you're going to, where that ended in the center, you're gonna go out to the left, out to the right. Okay. And then where the end of these are, you're gonna connect them and go to the center. I should have pushed my bands down. And you're just making X's, okay? Or you can say diamonds, but I'm gonna say X's for now, just as we lay them. Okay, so then you're just gonna connect, sorry about that. Bottom half of the X. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way down the loom. You either want to call them X's or you want to call them triangles. Either way, just do that to the very end. Okay, once you've got that all done all the way down, that's where it ends, okay? Now, we need to put a cap band in the center of these X's, okay? So... I'm just going to do a double cap band. I would use opaque, but I don't have any sitting out, so I'm just going to use my cylindric. Probably shouldn't waste my good bands that way, but that's what I'm going to do because I don't have them sitting here. So in between each one of these X's where all of them get together, um, we're on the wrapped bands. That's the one that we need to put a cat band on, I believe. Yep. Okay. And now, I believe we are ready to loom. So let's go ahead and turn our loom around. Okay. Now what we're going to do is loop out these X's, okay? So we're going to go in through this cat band. I'm going to grab the first band and bring it back to itself, okay? We're going to do that all the way around. Just bring them back to themselves. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to push my bands down as I go. Now you're going to go into the next cat band and do the same thing. Grab the top, bring it back to itself. The top one, bring it down to itself, back to itself. Upper left, the right. Okay, one more, and then I'm going to go off camera. Whoops, maybe not, maybe not. My cat band came off, but I'm gonna keep it on. Uh, I can do it, I can do it, yes. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, we're just gonna do it right. Sometimes I can get it back on without having to do what I just did. Okay, be real careful getting it off the peg. Bring it to the lower left, top one, lower right, upper left, upper right. Okay, so go ahead and finish those, starting in the cat band of each and doing all the way around. And then I will meet you back for the next step. Once we get those done, all we're going to do is, well, I forgot to put a cat band on this front one. 
I'm going to put a double cap band there and I'm going to go in and I'm going to loop up my single chain down the center. Very simple and monotonous, so I'm going to let you do that off camera. And then, yeah, we'll do that off camera. Well, enough with the single chain down. Now we're going to loop up our border and then we're going to be done. Believe that or not. Okay, so these are double bands, the yellow or the white and the black. So we're going to go in through the cat band, grab the first two bands, okay, which is going to be the black one and the white one. And you're going to bring it to the left. You can go back in, grab the other two, bring it to the right, okay. And now you're going to go in and you're going to bring double bands up the whole way up the loom. Okay, just make sure you're getting both bands as you're going. It can be a little thick on some of these bands. And then you're going to do this side as well. So you'll go in. Oops. Make sure you're going through all them bands. Get the two going forward. Go through the two going forward. Go through two going forward and go through two going forward. Okay, you're going to do that all the way to the end and then I'll meet you up at the top and get your C-clip ready and we're ready to go ahead and almost take it off the loom. Okay, now that I've got all the border bands done to you get up to here, I'm going to go in and do this last one and bring it to the center. And at that point, you know what, I'm going to just leave... Um, well, I'm going to get me a border band, put my hook down through all of them, put my band on it and pull it up, and then I'm just going to leave it on the hook just like that. Or actually, you know what, since I'm here, I may as well just get a C-clip. I told you to be prepared and have a C-clip ready, and then I didn't have one. So, probably should have put double bands here too, but I didn't, and that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to leave that on there, and then I'm going to use my other hook. And look at the sides. They are all look like they're leaned up. And then at this point, see these cross bands that we did here, the red and then these gold with the little um, triple bands on it, um, those don't get looped at all. They just stay just like that. So, um, but you just take it off on either side, release the tension. Pretty simple. Some of these bands have a ton on it. Every other one has a bunch. And make sure you get it all and be careful you don't snap any bands. And then come back to this side. fuzzy or hair. Okay. Okay. Now this should come off fairly easy. I may not even have to take it off singly. I probably could just pull it. Yep. Yeah. You pull it towards, because there's not much in here in the center. Normally I would say don't pull it, but if you pull it towards you and then lift up, it pops right off. Pull it towards you and lift up. Still going to be careful with it, but I trust it because there's not many bands on it. Okay. And then, hmm. That looks pretty neat. I'm not sure. I have to 
look at it from the back. That's pretty cool from the back. So if you didn't, if you decided not to put any beads on it and you wore it like this, that would be cool. I like those colors. But here's the side I like. I'm going to take it and I'm going to stretch it out. Now it looks a little different with the It's a little thicker because of the, um, well, not really. It's about the same. It's just a lot more shiny with the cylindrical. So I'm going to go through, and I know I don't have to fix many bands that are the cylindrical because they're already rounded. But if you see any that you don't like the way they're sitting, if you want some up higher, you can go in and mess with it. Like that one. I'm going to go in and pull this other side of this black one up. Just get it how, however you want it to lay, okay? And, uh, and that's basically what you do. Now, a lot of these, th these um, bands here are going to drive me nuts. This side looks great. This side doesn't, so I probably will take it. And whichever way I see that it needs a twist, I'll probably just twist it to get it to um, to sit properly. You don't have to, but it drives me batty when my bands are twisted. I think on this one it doesn't matter as much because I think it's that you know that is the the way I designed it. Okay, so get them the way that you want them. I want most of my gold to be showing, so I'm gonna go through fiddle with my bands. Um, not much to do with the red. The red is just perfect. Any of these bands, if you want them more centered, just squeeze on the side and then pull it however you want them in the middle of the band or straighten them out however you want them, okay? And get that done. But that is the... Um, what did I call this thing? I don't even know what I called it. What was it? The tear, the tortoise shell dew drop? That's what it is. Here's the first one I did in opaques and jelly minus the hair. And there's the one I did with the newer bands. So it is a little wider because I used the LE. And, uh, but yeah, that's what it is. But I'm going to go clean up my bands and, and I'll show you when I post um, the rendition on Instagram. But it's pretty clean as as it is. It's just some of these um, bands right, right there I've got to fix. But go ahead and fix your bands like right there. Oh, that's driving me nuts. Um, but anyhow, this is the tortoise shell dew drop. And I'd appreciate it if you did a rendition if you have a nice little charm you can put in the center or just leave it just like this which this is how I'm going to leave it it does almost a full wrap so you might have to put a small extension or put a lock on it but it's really pretty okay well I have a new Facebook um, page and it's called artisan loom bead queen if you would like to go like my page and um, obviously Artisan Loom on Instagram and also subscribe to my chan channel, Artisan Loom. Okay, until next time, take care. Bye.